Sigma males are naturally INTJs. They are born leaders but choose to stay away from leadership and only rise to the occasion when the leader is less competent than they are. Sigma males are paradoxical and difficult to understand. They love people but hate being around them because they make them tired. They love to chat but chit chats are boring. They know too much and want to teach but find it difficult to speak in public. They want to be loved but their focus takes them away from loved ones. Sigma males are in many ways similar to alpha males but differ in that alpha males are more aggressive and surround themselves with yes men while a sigma male surrounds himself with people of his caliber. He is the lone wolf and some say he is better off as a tiger. In their spare time, sigma males prefer to read or indulge in mentally challenging activities like playing complex games. You will seldom find a sigma male glued to a TV screen like a beta male. Unlike beta males who prefer to be ordered around, sigma males have a mind of their own. They don't do others' biddings and unlike alpha males who, like vampires, feed on others' positive energies to keep grinding, sigma males auto-generate their energy and people tend to suck it away. Sigma males tend to procrastinate when they have difficulty figuring how to start a new project. They easily get frustrated and restless until it is done. They are independent and do not do well with hierarchy. They are very protective of the little man and are highly secretive with their own private lives. They find chit chats a time consuming activity and prefer isolation and live solitarily to maximize time and increase productivity. The sigma male is attracted to the opposite sex not by beauty but by intelligence. They despise lazy people and also despise people with limited beliefs. They easily get infuriated when people tell them it is impossible. The task is too difficult for them to complete. They face the same problems everyone faces and the only difference is the approach to solving problems that makes it different from the rest. Whatever the case, we are different and unique because of the way we perceive and act on information. Thanks for listening.